Fears to Fathom, Episode 4, Iron Bark, Lookout, May 12th. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Fathom, Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. Oh god, that's how you know this is gonna be so bad. I need to process my memories! We're processing trauma? Okay. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson, had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. Oh God. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the, in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forests managed by the forestry service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time, I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me, though since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling, I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. I love how they added WASD to drive. <laughs> Do you guys remember in the, um, the second one where they don't tell you how to drive? Uh, Skirt! <laughs> I wasn't very proud of my driving. Oh, you can turn the radio off if you want. Hold on, wait. I want to see what I packed with me. Oh my gosh! It's bigger than I thought it would be. You can't climb up there. On the road again. <laughs> Kayla Nelson. Okay, we have two messages this time. This new regional manager is such a jerk. Honestly, sometimes I wish I had a job like you. Waking up with nature, away from people, and just getting paid to watch the wind go by. Wish my job was really that easy, Kay. I'm honestly done with this job. Pretty sure joining you next season. Hee <laughs> hee. Like I said, you're always welcome here. Let me know if you need to talk to Josh. It's definitely the time for a change. Speaking of change... Fire lookout? Is that what he's showing her? That, okay. Iron bark? Commissioned by the Iron Bark Fire Department. They're staffing me to Iron Bark next month. The one after Roseburg? Yeah, heard they got bigger staff cabins and less campers. Call me. With the dad. I'll call you back. How's it looking? Still on my way. Van decided to pull a flat tire on me today out of all days. Isn't it late? If I don't starve to death before arriving, I'll be fine. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No, why? Okay, so this is his sister. Mitch, let's see. Congratulations on the transfer, feeling ready for the change. Just reaching to you to tell you that you've been assigned to Tower 11. Welcome on board. This is Mitch, by the way, from Ironbark. Thank you. Heard a lot about you from Josh. Very excited to meet you soon. Just got my ID badge. I don't trust Mitch one bit. Your shift starts on the 12th. Sounds good. I'll be there. Anything I need to know? I have your papers. Just bring your ID. Josh told me the job is not news to you. Can I just ask you one question? Sure. Why did you pick this job initially? Not sure how to answer that. I just enjoy the thrill or the lack of it, I guess. 
I'm sorry, I just asked this question to everyone joining this line of work. People join looking for a getaway or to discover who they are only to leave without notice. Guess they're better off in a cubicle. To be honest with you, I joined Iron Horse last year, not knowing what to expect, but the solitary life has grown on me. For me, I can't do city life. There's, This is where I belong, and I'm sure I'd adapt just fine to Iron Bark. Good. I hope you're... I hope you fare better than the last lady. Last lady? Where can I park my van? So you're arriving on Friday. Just park your truck around back on the gravel park by gate D. Got it. And from there, you'll be on foot. Take the Gold Creek Trail. From there, it'll take you a couple of hours until you reach your tower. Okay, got it. Thanks. You'll probably see Billy at the gate. Just show him your ID. Where's the NOS? <laughs> the turbo. I lived a very solitary life. It's a pretty view though. It helps quiet my mind, keeps the memories at bay. <laughs> I just wanted to see what would happen. Okay, we're, we're approaching, I've always loved the great outdoors. We're approaching, approaching Roseburg. Speed limit is 25. I feel like I was at home in the woods. I remember there's this diner. <laughs> Hold on, I need to pull over to check my phone. <laughs> That's illegal what I just did. Alright. Hold on. <laughs> Okay. I remember there's this diner while passing Roseborg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. I could really use a good meal before the staffing starts. Thanks, Kay. Okay. <laughs> he almost killed me, Kay. Goodness gracious. At least the music is kind of comforting. Was that it right there? Oh, break, break! God, this thing breaks so slow. I'm walking lonely, got no homies, feeling like a ghost. She don't feel me anymore, she says I'm going home. Listen. I saw the diner Kayla was talking about. <laughs> yeah, you're not leaving, sir. You're not going anywhere. Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good, how about you? Feel free to take and see. Oh, take any seat you like and I'll be right with you. All right, thank you. Good evening, I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yes. So what can I get for you today? Hmm. Meatball sub with chicken nuggets. <laughs> Very well, would you like anything to drink? Strawberry slush. Perfect, anything else? That will be all, thank you. Great, I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if anything, if you need anything else. Will do, sounds great, appreciate it. I'm trying to be nice so she doesn't murder me. You never know. I've always had this habit of peeing before eating. Alright. Are we getting another peeing animation? Oh god. <laughs> I was trying to lift the toilet <laughs> well, um, 
Barbara is gonna murder me and it's gonna be valid. <laughs> Why flushing if nothing went... Just to fool the people outside. If I walked outside without flushing, they would know something's up. No, I flushed my pee. I don't know whose pee's on the floor. Not me. Amateur. <laughs> that was so bad. I might need a double wash after that. I feel dirty. Okay. Shut the door. Hide the evidence. <laughs> I really was expecting to lift the toilet seat up first, but... What's worse, me peeing on the floor or this guy peeing with the toilet seat down? Don't answer that. <laughs> my meatball sub with chicken nuggets and my strawberry slush. Delicious. This is such a weird combination. I figured it'd be a while before I had a meal like this again. Probably. He's, he's doing the whole... Okay. He's down in all of it. Goodness gracious. Wasting the com condiments, though. Alright. So, did you end up going? How was it? I'm here, still eating. This is so good. Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else or should I get the check? Check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. She's gonna be like, by the way, did you pee in the floor? <laughs> Told you, hee <laughs> hee. This food reminds me, you should send me that casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine in the new lookout. Wow, yes, I'm on my way home. Send you in a bit. Man, these siblings talk a lot. They're very friendly with each other. Here's the check. Your total is $7.60. Yeah, I'm gonna have to 50% tip that. <laughs> yeah, of course, Barbara. Enjoy. Don't go in the bathroom. I'm out of here. Run! Imagine I come outside and this guy is just standing here trying to leave. Let me see if I can talk to this person. How's that burger? Where are you headed? I'm from Roseburg. This place is pretty much my weekend spot. What about yourself? Hmm. You cannot be too careful. I'm just gonna say, just passing through. Have a safe journey. Wait, hold on. I was just wondering if he had something to tell me. You must have heard the news then. What news? Well, a few weeks ago, three kids went missing in the park. It's been all over the news. What happened to them? No one knows. The official report says they got lost, but a lot of people around here think something else happened. Something else? There's a rumor going around that a creature got them? A creature? Yeah, you know, like Bigfoot or Goatman. People say there's something like that living in that forest. Uh, I should go. Do you believe it? A lot of hikers and camping campers go missing in that forest. Some of them come back with stories you would not believe. Some of them never come back. <sighs> okay. Well, I came back, so that's a tiny bit comforting. Now, how in the world are we getting out of this parking lot? <laughs> Gotta crank it? Good golly. 
I'm nervous to get to our destination, but I'm honestly excited to get out of this RV because this is harder to drive than the the car. 8.02 p.m. Wait, let me te check my text messages. No, nothing with the text messages. We have to be getting close. I want to include the location of this park. But I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. That nervous, they don't even want to share the spot. Is this it? Oh yeah, yeah, this is it. It says do not enter though, so maybe I should keep going and find like a different entrance or something? I drove past the trail at first. Okay. I was kind of half expecting him to say like, I turned right to the gate before I passed it. It says do not enter. Is there somewhere else? I wasn't very proud of my driving. <laughs> that is so rude. Hold on. Just park your tra truck around back on the gravel park by gate D. This has got to be it then. Oh, yep. Gate D. Right there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I shut this place down any? Like, I don't know. Couldn't drive with the door wide open. Why would I drive? Gravel Park by Gate D, this is it. Unless I didn't trigger something. Oh, there's the missing people. Missing person. Brit. Knee. Sphere. <laughs> it's not funny, but... Q. Jessman. Oh my god. That's so funny they use names like that. Iron Bark State Park. Wow, this is massive. This is a big location. Maybe I can go in here? Oh, I can't. <laughs> Holy moly, you scared me! You were- <laughs> I thought you were one of them! One of who? May lord have mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? You're Billy, right? I'm the new transferred fire- <sighs> Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check on that. Wait, did you guys see that? There's someone back there. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. I can't believe they- <coughs> Okay pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season, but here are your keys. Let me open the trail gate for you. He's on the shit list. 
immediately. Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. Thank you, Billy, or thought I might need one. Thought I might need one. Yeah, I think that's good. You be careful, take this. Welcome to Iron Bark, pal. Now for our purposes. When you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system just so we know you clocked in safely. If you need be- Oh, if need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough guy. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Thank you, Billy. Hey. Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. You got it. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. And I saw someone in the woods also. Eleven thirty two PM. It was a long hike and it was starting to get cold now. Okay, I'm just gonna say one thing. You would have to be a freaking idiot. No offense to the person telling this story, I'm just saying in general. To arrive to your lookout tower in the middle of the night. There has to be rules against that, just for safety, right? Like, yeah, you gotta show up in the morning What is the thought process here? And I doubt he has a gun too. Oh, I thought that was the tower I was sleeping in. Nope, that's not it. Lacey Trail, 3.2 miles. Okay. So further than- Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. The trail is further than he said to go, so we shouldn't ever touch that one. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at, at a time. It's not for everyone. But I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. God, this reminds me of Firewatch. That was a good game, but there were moments of that that were creepy just because you were in the woods by yourself. It has some scary stuff to it. My hands were full. Okay, let me go up. Can I turn the generator on? really pretty view. Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. Cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. Lights out after 12 p.m. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Absolutely no guest in the lookout. System password is that. Refill the generator routinely. Update the reporting software routinely. No video games in the system. Remember to call your sister station before you sleep. No video games? Come on. Wait, hold on. Let me throw. We need wood. There's none in there. Should 
Should I get some? Radio equipment was sitting on a wooden table. Starting rainbow. Rainbow 98. I have been, okay, wait. Iron bark tower number, oh. Oh my god, I think I had caps lock on. Hello there, it's Smiley, your truly virtual assistant, here to help you make the most of your computer today. You guys remember when a paper clip would pop up on the computer? Welcome to Ironbark State Park. If you're watching this video, <laughs> then let me be the first to say Congratulations. Is that Jack Septicai? You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire yes, Department it is. to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. <laughs> Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You've been still selected as one of our fire lookouts observers. all of the time so, so also keep watch for smoke make, make sure to know what color the smoke is it may be crucial information fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand keep records of daily temperature when the temperature rises it is best that we have those recorded the science nerds at the panoramic preservation society require us to note all changes in temperature we think it's best <laughs> we not hate to get lawsuits. into a lawsuit this is so cursed. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. See, I thought this job would Keep be a lot easier than this. Campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire, which could lead to a wildfire. <laughs> they will not always listen to a Why is his hand so, so big? Take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to know whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Okay. Um, Keep officer, come get park. me. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. Mostly. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. <laughs> Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. <laughs> if you see smoke, don't joke. I'm stealing that. Flash media drive. And we are back. So how do you feel about being a plant? Do you moisturize? Fascinating. What do you do for a living? Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I physically cannot listen to another video with that on in the background. And we are being a plant. Fascinating. 
<laughs> what do you do for a living? What the heck is going on? Uh huh. Yeah. How does that work? Wow. Everyone's been wondering, how's the marriage with the wife? Don't do drugs, kids. Sir. Sir, there's no need for that language. Sir, calm down. What did you just say? Nobody talks to me like that on my show. What the f did you just say? Get over here, you piece of shit. Hi everyone, I'm Ron Ross with you. Today I got some cool paint. This is something called testicular green. It reminds me of my wife. I love my wife. Anyways, a little water there. What? Time to switch brushes. Oops, that's the wrong brush. That's my I'll save that for later. Ah, there it is. The what? Pasting brush. This brush is really great for painting in those details. I think I'll put a little tree here. This is where I buried the bodies. You know what would look good here? A nice, happy cabin right there. Reminds me of when I had an affair with my wife. Uh, with a squirrel. Enough about me. Let's read some fan mail. Sent in by you guys. Eviction notice. Uh, forget the fan mail. We'll be right back after this commercial break. What the f <laughs> was that? I mean, that one wasn't as bad, but what? Ready to wield some digital magic? Yeah, okay. Check for available system update. Check for current version. Install system update with package code. It closes the console. Is that a K or an H? Okay. All right, I'm done. <laughs> Whoa. This is the best day ever. I need double points. Come on. Double points. Oops. Oh, 
Addicting. Ah! I'm not very good at mouse and keyboard. Oh my god. Meanwhile, the forest is burning down. Do you run out of ammo? When does it end? I think I should just log out. I don't. I don't know what to do. Does it just go on forever? We live here now. <laughs> okay. How do I? How do I? Welcome to the state of the art service report. New guy. I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? Who is this? I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. I saw your light turn on. Thought I was gonna be alone out You're here. Never alone in these woods. I've had to cover your area until you arrived. Oh, I don't believe him. I think he's lying. looking for a change I'm really tired he's just silent until I keep feeding him more information I'm a transfer from iron horse I can see why Mitch picked you I'm really tired fire going Get her lit. the temperature is about to plummet you don't want to sit through the storm shivering got it thanks um I thought that I was the furthest out here to tower 12 over here. So there is a tower 12. Does it say you are here somewhere? Does it show where? I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? Wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. I feel like he's being creepy. I mean, I need wood, no?
What do they want me to burn? It won't let me go down the stairs. Let me do this. They want to talk or something? <laughs> Damn it. There's no firewood. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? Okay. That makes sense. I should have fully realized if it's beeping, then it's urgent and I need to listen to what it has to say. God, I'm kind of nervous. I feel like there is definitely someone watching me or something watching me, but I feel like someone. Okay, we have extra materials. Oh, I need to come down and get these binoculars. And then light, yep. They want gasoline on it? Oh my god. Building a fire is not supposed to be this difficult. This isn't gonna be it. More fire? No. Okay, this is actually such a troll. W what? Did I get it? Oh my god, thank goodness. Ah, I see it. I see the smoke. Yeah, it's the whole entire tower burning down. <laughs> nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Alive is an understatement. Gotcha. So... I gotta do this? Hold on, we need the temperature. How do we check that? Wait, let me look at everything it asks for. Temperature, wind speed, weather condition. Wind speed, wind speed, wind speed. Could potentially be something in the shed that I need to grab. Is this a compass? Do 
Can't really see. Maybe outside? I need to go inside? My hands were full? Okay then. Man, they're really putting me to work on this one. Wait a damn second. Is that tower 12 with zero lights on? Oh, yep, it sure is. No smoke, no lights. I repeat, no smoke, no lights. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. Okay, so I'm looking for the anemometer. Anemometer? Oh, right there. Seventeen. Forty three, forty six point three. Oh, I didn't look. I think shit. Damn it. First day on the job, be like, let me... Oh, it's cloudy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's cloudy. Yeah, yeah. Clouds reported by... What's my name? Jack Nelson. Do I have caps lock on? Yes. I wasn't sure if I had put the right weather condition. No, that feels pretty right. Cloudy. What else would that be? What? Clear? You copy, new guy? Tower copy, eleven new guy copy. Yeah. You don't. You don't have a single light on. You don't have any fire going. Don't want the bed bugs bite. Good night. Over and out. I don't want to talk to him tomorrow. Oh yeah, yeah. Lock the door. My. Tower is a disaster. <laughs> 326 a.m. I had to pee.
Connor? Where's the flashlight? I need a weapon. Um, I'll take that. On my first night, being out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. Being left here alone was somewhat unsettling. <laughs> oh, to be a guy. <laughs> Just off the side of the tower. <laughs> Okay, wouldn't the wind be blowing? I feel like the stream would not be that straight. <gasps> Where's binoculars, 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 binoculars? Where are they? Oh, he's gone! You guys saw that? I hate this so much. I hate this so much. Go back to sleep. So there's someone lurking around. I think it's Connor. Night two. I feel like if we were to ask Billy Oh, is someone at Tower 12? They would say, what? Tower, no one's at Tower 12. I mean, the view is beautiful. I'll give it that. Connor, I am on to your shit right now. Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? Toss the fucking mug over there. Yeah, copy, Connor. Tower 11. Do you copy? What's up? Son of a bitch. What? Excuse me? bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Let me have a look. The smoke is white, indicative of a campfire. I need you to confirm. Convenient. Smoke up north? Real convenient, Connor. You spot that white smoke up north? Yeah, I see it. In the lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Fire risks are high this season. Mind checking it out? Oh, yeah. Okay, heading north. I'll report back on it. Yes, do you have any other details? Is it safe? Be alert. Carry your bear spray, and you should be fine. Okay, heading north. I'll report back on it. Do you have any other details? No additional information at the moment. Just follow Lazy Trail. Keep an eye out for any signs of a campfire or any potential hazards along the way. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. I don't. I don't trust him. As far as I could possibly throw him. 
Oh god, okay, here we go. I'm gonna take that too. <laughs> Bear spray and where is my flashlight? So we have to take the lazy trail and hope for the best. This way, the 3.2 mile one. Eight thirty seven PM. We just got here. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. everything is okay okay there was the recipe none of her messages were coming through I'm sorry I don't think my sector has very good service view from my tower and thanks for the recipe my try it tonight watch she's gonna be like I spoke to so-and-so and no one's supposed to be in that tower Oh my god, I don't know what to do. Tell me I don't have to go down that path. Please tell me. Give me the machete, please! I swear. I swear. Who's there? Show yourself. The area beyond that site was closed. I saw someone though. Oh God. Okay, this is a dead end. That's good. That's good. Dead end. Can I go back? Oh wait, here we go. Here we go. Yep, I see what to do. I see what to do. Put the fire out. That wasn't enough. Oh, it went out. It went out. Okay, we're good. We're good. It just took a second. I think we should just go. We should just leave. <laughs> we should just leave. Hold on. Let me check the table one more time. Make sure that I can't- there's- Notice how he has a radio? Oh yeah, I think this is Connor.
We are four miles away from the tower right now. Someone's following. <laughs> As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. Okay, we're back to the tower. I know Connor is setting me up right now. Yeah, notice how the light is on, but it wasn't on last night when he was talking to me. Yeah, I'm on to him right now. I had to report to Connor about the vacant campsite. Connor, do you copy? Tower 12, do you copy? Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot... Well, first, what's your status? Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? What are you mean? Has this been happening a lot? Time this month alone. Anything else you notice in those woods? Okay. Do I say something or do I not? This could be a test. Mention scream or nothing really. I'll tell him. Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. Oh. It was a mainly scream. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids went missing in that area? Ago, they were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. What does that have to well, do with campers? People have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but... Apparently, it's been the opposite. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. Well, what? At least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11 urgently. Glad to be of service. Right. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. Contact the authorities. Authorities. Uh huh. They sure, find. buddy. I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Keep me updated. Okay. Over and out. All right. Twenty one. One I one. And then. Temperature is 49.7. Does this classify? Okay, so this is probably cloudy. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. So there is a Connor Hawkins. Report submitted. Should I just sleep? I feel like I should just go to sleep. I was too hungry to go to bed without food. No. At this point, I was starving. 
I had a feeling it was still missing something. Is that so? This is gonna be the grossest meal ever. Could it potentially be outside? What I'm missing? Oh, I don't know. They wouldn't leave food outside. That's a bear fire hazard. That would be bad. Let me think. I mean, I'm olive oil, tomato sauce. What? Oh, fridge, fridge. Oh, duh. How did I look past that? For some reason, I thought it was just like, uh, um, when did I grab a, <laughs> when did I grab this? I thought it was just like a, a nightstand. Still missing something. Okay, maybe some cheese or, oh, some, yeah, that looks like meat. I need to check the ingredients list first. Pep okay. Pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, diced tomato. Is that pepper? Oh, yep, that's pepperoni. Nice. And then diced tomato, diced tomato. Lovely. Connor's gonna show up and murder me just to steal my food. The meat's gonna go bad. Him. Hey guys, you there? Oh, I thought, okay. The pool animation made me feel like I was being pulled by someone. You guys, you got God, Connor is so creepy. What is it? What did they say? Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Tell you what. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Good night. Over twelve, signing off. Over and out. Over and out. Murderer. I just remember the smell of fresh sizzling cheese. I'd like eating in bed. <laughs> You're eating it. Okay. Hey, who am I to judge? All right, so we're just in bed. No utensils, no nothing. Just, okay. And the whole thing, that is a lot of dairy. Oh, I already know what's coming. He's gonna be like, oh man, my belly feels weird, and then we're gonna have to go to the porta potty downstairs. <laughs> the outhouse. I was already full. I could have kept it in the fridge. Yeah, you're right. You could. I feel like they could make this. There it goes.
All right. <laughs> no, no, no. Please. No. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm done. I give up. It was getting cold. Thought I'd get wood stove lit. Oh, it is a porta potty. I was right. It's cloudy. Hopefully that'll do it. Yes. I've always closed the boards outside before heading to bed. The board's outside. What? I don't even know what that means. I've always closed the boards outside before heading to bed. Like, the hiking board? even make any sense what okay I feel like what makes this one so creepy is that you're scared but you have also no clue what you're doing oh my god I thought that was the roof This is why I couldn't see Connor's light, but also I didn't even see any smoke, so it was still suspicious. I feel like someone's gonna pop up. Okay. 2.27 AM. I was awoken by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. Oh my God. Someone's in there. Someone's in the room with me. Someone's in the room with me. I can't.
Oh my god, I can see it moving. I can see it moving, you guys. I want to shout, I have a gun! That's what I feel like saying. Ugh. What do I do? Tell me he doesn't want me to go outside. He wants me to open the door, doesn't he? I feel like turning the light on was a good move though. Like that seemed pretty solid. That's a power move. Is the computer off? Keep it on. I didn't know what to make of it at the moment. The only logical thing I could think of was to contact Connor. Yeah, I tried that. Connor, do you copy? Do you copy? I need to talk to you. It's urgent. You there? I have any idea what time it is. There's something outside my door. What if this is not a prank? This feels like a real ritual. didn't make any sense, did he? No, he did not, but there's not much else I could have done in the dark. Is he out there? I can't tell if that's a tree or if that's a murderer. <sighs> Just go to sleep. Just go to sleep. Just go to sleep. Just go to sleep. 9-3. Next day I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it is a harmless prank by some kids, but there's something about that night that just felt darker. There's something strange happening in those woods.
I occupy most of my days either with a simple maintenance in and around the tower or by scanning the density of trees all around me. God, these binoculars need to be cleaned. My paranoia for these woods only grew after last night, which led me to be extra vigilant moving forward. Oh, clean. Yeah, I saw that. I can hear you. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. What's going I, on? I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. And, and now it's dark and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think I think I'm lost. Can you I'm describe a jacket, your clothing? Camo pants and a green backpack. What equipment do you have I with have you? I have a flashlight, a compass, a fully charged two-way radio, a flare gun, and, and some of my camping equipment. What is your current location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Do you remember uh, any I, I landmarks? I remember passing a small stream earlier. What direction? I'm walking towards west right now because I remember walking east when I came here. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Let me scan the map and get back to you. Okay, so what did he say? I want to get up and I want to go look at where the flare was. I just need a direction. Where was that flare? Was it over here? I think. Yeah, I think it was this direction. Yeah. Which would be... Uh, hello? Uh, 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 hold on. Okay, so that is west. Okay. Where is Tower 11? Tower 11, Tower 11. Okay, Tower 11, west. He's at a trailhead, which would probably be... I 
don't know. Logan Pass Trailhead? There's one. I mean, can he just tell me? I can ask what trailhead are you at? I mean, if I want him to head toward me, maybe this is where he's at. Right there. If I want him to head toward me, then he needs to go east. I'm gonna tell him to go east. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Well, that's not what I thought the question was. Hold on. I'm at a trail intersection. Let's say he's right here. Let's assume that. I think he's right here. Uh, hello? Either way, I don't think we could go wrong uh, with right. Uh, I'm at a trail intersection. Take the right. To be honest, I had my suspicions on the left trail, but if you say so, right one it is. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. Hope you reach back safely. I'm right here. What do you mean? Is he behind me? I hear you. I hear your whistles. That's not me. What? what? I see you behind the trees to my right. Oh my god. You're freaking me out. <laughs> oh god, no, 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 no. No. I need to call 911. I need a gun. I need a gun. A weapon, anything, anything, anything. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm not opening the door. <laughs> Holy moly, what took you so long in there? <laughs> Billy! I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour? May the Lord be merciful. Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for more than one more second. <sighs> you know how in the other episodes when you click the door it gives you options to be like... Who is this? Who's there? I'm not opening the door. I didn't expect the door to just fling open. What are you- what were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north, why were you there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention, you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. Absolutely, it's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on edge. Everything alright? Just get you getting used to the new environment? Mention the skull. Dot dot dot. He's like, what the hell? Again? Oh lord, how far- <laughs> Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? I didn't think about it. You know, it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks for the supplies. Why did he come all this way at night? 
Has anyone heard of leaving early in the morning? I was too hungry to go to bed without food. Four twenty. <laughs> I'm thinking of going outside and just going ahead and shutting down the blinds too. Just go ahead and get one step ahead and then, then come eat my food. I liked eating in bed. We know. I feel like the eating noises are a little extreme. Still had to report, of course. Still have to report. Um, I think that that's clear. Where did I throw the... Twenty-six, okay. And then, fifty-four. I didn't feel... Yeah, 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 I know. That's smart. I just forget. Okay, 54, 20, did I say 24, clear, one, probably dead, something didn't look right, 25, I don't remember, loud, it's the knots, I don't, 23, what did I say? I can't think. God. I feel like the dev knows that you can't think straight when you're playing this. 26. Oh my god. And then all of these tasks to just like further frazzle your brain. 26. Clear. I wasn't sure if I had put in the right weather condition. That's considered cloudy. Wind? Yeah, it is pretty windy. That's fair. It is very windy. <gasps> no report from Connor yet. Notice that? Nothing. It was getting cold. Cold. <laughs> I hate this episode. This one's the worst one for sure absolutely the worst one so far uh yeah i don't oh there it is i really don't want to walk down here Liar! <sighs> At 8 p.m. Thought I'd say hi, the new guy everyone's been talking about. What's your name? Names can be deceiving. Call me Silas. Yellow? Do you usually work this late? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. <sighs> we must ensure that the right message reached the right places, wouldn't you agree?
Yeah, I agree. Absolutely. But some fires are meant to burn and no amount of prevention can stop them. What do you mean? Nature, nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled no matter how hard we try. <laughs> oh my god. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing, a way for the land to purify itself. I'll see you around, Silas. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember... Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell. The guy gave out the creepiest vibes. You guys, I'm, I'm telling you, I would have already carved a machete out of wood and I would be slicing every single person that runs up on me in the middle of the night. Sorry. If you're trying to meet with me after business hours in the woods, you will die. It's that simple. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I take it back. <laughs> sort of. On the bright side, I've gotten much better better at I see the smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there. New guy. You there? I am so tired of talking to him. You copy now. Loud and clear. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Ran into Silas downstairs. I ran into Oh. Okay. The guy maintaining that nearby radio tower. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. It's about yesterday. He thinks I'm messing with him. What do you mean? You trying to yank my chain now? What do you mean? The radio tower's been out of service for ages now. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its system. Costly. Of course. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Then who did I just talk to? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my name. He knew your name? You think he's been listening? Yeah. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Next time you see him, get his information, or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Sure. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Tower 12, signing off. Over and out. Okay, I need to look at something. I'm scared to go outside, but I need to. Where am I? <sighs> His lights are on. There's no way that was him, right? I already saw the murderer? What are the odds of that? My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. We have to be nearing the end of this. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed getting used to. 
The strangeness I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later, 9.18 p.m. What is it? Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Mitch wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. Now, why would Mitch not tell me that himself? No more snoopers, I guess. Thanks for letting me know. How do I update the computer? C H K U P D. What was the other one? Update. Please enter the update package code. Four three four six zero eight four. Looking for serviceable lines. Please enter an active line. Okay, 5487. What just happened? Power was out. Someone just turned my generator off, didn't they? Oh, there it goes. Oh, shit. I think I'm just getting stuck on the stairs. It's a little weird. No! Oh, don't say that. Oh, God. I just be like in the grass right here or does he want me to go in the porta potty oh god Oh my god! <laughs> How is this not ended yet? One week later. Time was flying by. 
for you and only you. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there was no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. 2.34 a.m. I know it's late, but you're going to want to see this one, Jack. Jack? Jack? I need you to wake up. You copy? This feels like a you problem, Connor. Why are you still up? Hey, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. What happened? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camp on. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Let me look. Let me look, Connor. It is in my sector, huh? I didn't know what to make of it. Only thing that made sense at the time was... To say... They're gonna see the flash. They're gonna see the flash. Okay. Oh, I feel like I should have went to the porta potty. You guys, the way, the way that my heart. <laughs> I think I need to, okay. Can I drink some water before we make a run for it?
hate this one. Sitting there burning a body, which I only can guess is the hiker that... <gasps> Red jacket, camo pants. That's him. I didn't even notice the dead body laying there. Yep, that's him. I thought there was a dead body on the pile of wood, but no, it's right there. <gasps> God. Okay, I can do this. I just have to get the porta potty door, get in, shut it super quick. Ready, set, go. Go, go, go! Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> go, go, go! I will run him over. As the drilling kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir-crazy out here, Mitch answered. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area. But of course, they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. Oh my god, I just got cold chills. 
However, that was the last time I ever set my foot in those woods. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. I actually have full body cold chills. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character, but I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on getting going camping soon, please be safe. Wow. Wow, oh my god. I actually feel like the entire ranger department or whatever was in on it. I don't know about Connor for sure, but I feel like... I feel like multiple people were in on it, including Billy, because he was like, did you get any evidence of the... the bone, the skull thing? He's asking about evidence and then was just like, oh, cool. And I wonder, we never met Mitch. I almost feel like Silas was Mitch. And he was like, basically warning me, if you just ignore it, you'll be fine. If you ignore what's going on, you'll be fine. And if you don't, you won't. Like, I feel like he was giving me a chance to possibly be involved or giving me a warning. Like, turn a blind eye and you'll survive. My rating for this episode, 10 out of 10. This was the best one so far. Even though it was the scariest, I really liked the story. So far, they've kind of been like home invaders, intruders. This one, this like creepy ritual aspect, I think was really interesting and made it even scarier. Which is, all, which is unfortunate, but makes for a good story. And then him at the end being like, no one believed me. Mitch. Mitch had to be in on it. Are we all in agreement that Mitch was definitely in on it in some way, shape, or form? I don't know about Connor. Unless, hear me out. What if Connor, it was like a test. You know how they said, turn a blind, turn a blind eye, leave it alone. Like, what if Connor was like testing me? Like, go out there, take some evidence if you see anything. 